Cody Rhodes did it. He finished his story and won the championship that his father never won. Cody pinned Roman in one of the greatest WrestleMania main events of all time to become the undisputed WWE champion. And we got to talk about this match because there's a lot to unpack. First things first, we need to acknowledge Roman Reigns and appreciate his historic title reign. That man held the title for almost four years. We aren't seeing anyone ever do that again. Again, the Tribal Chief carried the WWE on his back for years and made it relevant again as the champion. We saw legendary names go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roman, and I'm still processing the fact that he isn't champion anymore. It's kind of weird if you think about it. Even though I wanted Cody to win, I'm happy he did. It feels like the end of an era, and that makes me sad. Anyways, this was the perfect match to end this iconic title reign. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes 2 has been in the works for a year now. On top of that, The Rock added an entirely new element to the story, which made it even better and got even more eyes on the product. He took it to the next level. Tonight, we saw a great bout between two of the best in the business. Everything would change once Jimmy Uso interfered, and that's when the Cody Avengers would come out one by one. Jey Uso showed up to take out his brother and let Cody Rhodes fight the match fair and square. Then, Solo Sokoa was the next one to come out and try to recreate history by helping Roman Reigns win. That would fail when John Cena made a surprise return to put an end to that thumb. Screw that thumb. That's when the final boss showed up and we saw a stare down between John Cena and The Rock. And let me tell you guys something, it felt like we took a time machine back to the year of 2012. You just had to disregard the bald spot. This felt nostalgic and everyone was on their feet. However, John Cena got rocked. Literally, he was rock bottomed. And just when it seemed like things could not get crazier, The Shield's music played. And while I thought it was going to be Dean Ambrose for a second, I realized it was Seth Rollins. And even though he lost his belt, this man was still so dedicated to helping Cody Rhodes win this match that he switched into his Shield attire and showed up. It didn't work out too well though, and he got knocked out very quickly. But then things got even crazier like this was just insane the undertaker made an appearance and choke slammed the final boss and while i love the twist i still wish it was austin honestly stone cold's glass shattering would have been like crack in the 80s i wanted to see a stunner so bad for old time's sake but unfortunately we did not maybe we'll get it tomorrow night who knows i'll take the undertaker for now and when everyone was down there were only two men standing and that was Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. It seemed like Roman had all the momentum in the world until he saw Seth Rollins. Instead of using the chair to hit Cody, this man wanted revenge on his former brother. Roman Reigns let his trauma win tonight and it would cost him big time. Because he went to hit Seth Rollins with a chair, Cody took advantage and won the match. And this is a mistake that's going to haunt Roman Reigns for the rest of his life. Despite being the head of the table, despite being the tribal chief, and despite being the undisputed champion for over three years, he made a rookie mistake. And this is one of the greatest storytelling things I've ever seen in WWE history. I can't lie, it might be one of my favorite endings of all time. The feud between those two is going to be crazy. You thought that Rollins turning on him in 2014 was bad? You thought that that was bad? No, this man's historic title reign came to an end because of Seth Rollins, and I don't think he's ever letting that go. After that, Cody Rhodes hit the crossroads to win the match and become the undisputed WWE Champion. And all of his friends would later come down to the ring and share and celebrate that moment with him. And most important of all, he gave the title to his mom, which is what he promised. This wasn't just his moment, it was his mom's moment, it was Brandy's moment, and it was everyone else's moment as well. Tonight was special. We witnessed history. It's the end of Roman's era, and it's time for Cody's era. I think we're in for a treat. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.